Welcome to Ambidextrous Andre and today I'm going to let you see what's in my art bag. It's been a few months since the last time I posted but I have been on a journey of self-discovery and found my way back to you. I can tell you that everything is great so far as I will be posting more often and to start off 2023 I would like to share with you what I have collected over the years. Everything you see will be posted below. There is a fair bit to get through, so let's get started. This is a handy pencil case. It measures at 22 by 11 by 6.5. It has three pocket compartments, including one with a zip and one large storage space. On the front pocket of the large pencil case, we have seven black fine liner pens with thickness that range from 005 to 0 0.8. Next we have white highlighter pens which are perfect medium to lighten artwork. I have three silver velvet black brushes I brought from Amazon with sizes 12, 8 and 4. The bristles are made up of squirrel hair and black synthetic fibres. Each brush can hold quite a lot of water and are great for wide strokes and fine lines. Next we have the other two pocket compartments. One on the left is a mesh see-through zipper pocket handy for all the items you want stored safely but I have utilized that pocket with two rows of watercolor paints. On a piece of 300 GSM watercolor paper I wrote the Ten Commandments backwards in black Indian ink as a personal reminder of where my art came from and who I am presenting my work for. The words also give me comfort that I should stray from these rules. I will always have Jesus to back me up with his divine encouragement. On the flip side, I have written the names of each watercolour and painted their respective colours from light to dark, giving myself a glimpse of what colour I need when I choose my artwork and how the colours will be displayed on my paper. These colours are rich and bright, which suit my work perfectly. I have used other paints before, but after watching my favourite Korean fantasy artist Aruda Art, I chose to use his colours which took my breath away the very first time. These are the only colours I use with the main bulk of my work. This next pocket holds the rest of my watercolour painting tubes securely. Now we are going to start with the bulk of this pencil case in the main compartment. This little cup is used by many nail artists worldwide, but I use it to hold my black ink. It is sturdy and I can also see how much is in the cup, so it's a great addition to my work. This small plastic box holds quite a few things, the first being soft eraser. Very handy to pick off pieces to use on your artwork mistakes. The rest of these items I use on my artwork or to write letters. Once again, all these items will be listed below so you can view at your leisure. Mechanical pencils are very useful for sketching and doing light shading. This is a number three Cotsman Winsor and Newton brush and a Marie number one brush. These I use for fine detail work. Mm -hmm. 
This is a calligraphy pen holder and nib. It's about six years old and I have been using it for my art and detail shading as well. Next up we have the Da Vinci Travel Bush. I did get three in a pack and their sizes are 10, 6 and 4. I got these from the United Kingdom after watching my favourite watercolour flower artist, Helen Campbell. I also brought with the bushes this lovely tin compact palette which is very handy in any situation. Made of ceramic there are two rounds of palettes which are convenient for any artist. I don't make a habit of cleaning my palette as I use the leftover colours for my next project. Inside this little box I have a small plastic vial which I would use for some water but I do have a water bottle. The box also has these medium sized rose gold paper clips which I use to hold back pages of my art book as I'm working. I also keep a paper towel for my work and it has many uses. Next is this small tin palette, perfect for me to keep extra paints, brushes, another eraser and small container for my paints. It is also a great way for me to have that extra place where I can mix colours should the ceramic palette not be enough. With the Da Vinci brushes and the tin palette I also brought some Daniel Smith paints so I can follow along with the Helen's tutorials. I've never been much of a floral artist, but Helen is such a great teacher who is very encouraging to all those new colorists who want to give her tutorials a try. The silver travel brush was brought before I got the Da Vinci brushes. I didn't like the wire and I wanted to undo it every time I used it. They pale in comparison to the Da Vinci brushes and it went to the back seat once they arrived. I keep it for emergencies only so it does have some purpose. The other two Da Vinci brushes are sizes 6 and 4. I love the way these brushes feel in my hand when I work with them and I'm super happy that I forked out a small fortune for the items. In saying that, if you decide you wish to pursue a painter's art, albeit watercolour, oils or synthetic, you don't have to buy the most expensive brushes out there. I only brought them because when I first started, I thought I needed them to do a great job. No one told me what brushes I should buy and I learned the hard way. But I now have cheap brushes and keep my expensive ones for any videos I create. Off camera, I will use my cheap brushes to fill in areas where I couldn't otherwise on video. A trick you may want to know if you decide to film your work. Having cheap brushes doesn't make you less of an artist, it just means you're utilising your gear for the work that is needed and that's okay. Last but not least is a small treasure chest I've had for quite a number of years and decided to put it to good use. I do have three of them and none of them hold jewellery. The bottom on the right holds black Indian ink and the other is deep red ink from Windsor and Newton. These are the main colours I choose to use when writing on my art. So all of this
fits into this pencil case. I hope you had fun watching this as it was a fun video to create. The next video is quite special. You will be involved if you wish to partake. I will be creating a prayer board for those who want their names written on it. It will be a prayer board for anyone who needs uplifting in these trying times. Prayers never judge. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for using your time to watch this video. I will be posting more, um, hopefully two a week, and with your encouragement I may be able to do more for you to enjoy. Thank you once again. God bless you, wherever you may be.